Welcome to this disability awareness video brought to you by the HSC in partnership with Tipperary County Council and TY students from St Albies, St Anne's and the Abbey CBS Secondary Schools in Tipperary Town. In the following video you will learn about physical and sensory and intellectual disabilities. To begin with, let's explore some general disability awareness tips that are good to know. The language we use around disability is very important and it's best to avoid using words like invalid, handicapped or wheelchair bound. People with disabilities should not be defined by their disabilities. For example, when referring to somebody with epilepsy, it's best to say a person with epilepsy, not an epileptic, or it's best to refer to someone as having a visual impairment, not the blind. Let's begin with physical disability. It is a noticeable disability, unlike some disabilities, which can be hidden. In this segment, we will look at everyday life from the perspective of someone with physical disabilities. This is Tom. Tom has a physical disability which requires him to use a wheelchair. He's on his way to the grocery store and needs to park in an accessible parking bay to enable him to access the shop easily. When he gets to the store, someone has parked their car over the line and so he must drive to a different parking lot which is 10 minutes, almost one kilometre away. Now, Tom must make his way to the store on footpaths, but there is often dog fowl on the footpath, so he must cross the road to avoid it. The next obstacle he faces is a car parked on the footpath, blocking half of it and preventing Tom from going on his journey to the grocery store. When Tom finally gets to the grocery store, he finds there is no wheelchair accessible ramp, only stairs to get into the store. A person walking into the store notices Tom's dilemma. They squat down and offer to find help to carry Tom up the stairs. Although this gesture is well intended by the person in the store, from Tom's perspective, it can come across as a little bit condescending and degrading. Tom knows people mean well, but it is frustrating to find not accessible ramps in public places. If the environment is not accessible, it's acts as a barrier to Tom's independence and his human rights to freely access services in the community. So politely, Tom declines the offer and decides to go home instead of going to the store. When you are parking your car, walking your dog, or even walking up steps to a public building, remember to take care. Just because it doesn't affect you doesn't mean it doesn't affect someone else. Next, let's explore sensory disability. You may already know some sensory disabilities such as a visually impaired person using a long cane or a guide dog. In the following segment you will see some everyday moments in life which you may not realise impacts on people with sensory disabilities. Here is a young student on her way to school. It's her first day in a new school and she is wearing a new uniform. She is visually impaired and uses a white cane to assist her with mobility. On her route there is dog fowl on the footpath. She accidentally put her cane in it and does not realise until she gets to school, by which time she has wiped it on her uniform. School is difficult enough without smelling of dog fowl throughout the day. The next challenge a person with a sensory disability may face is someone with a hearing impairment. This boy has been seated at the back of the class and struggles to hear anything the teacher says. He is working hard writing notes and when he looks up, everyone is gone. He does not know the fire alarm has gone off and no one has alerted him of this. Now we will switch back to the viewpoint of a student with a visual impairment. She is trying to leave the school and must make her way through the school hallway. There are several obstacles blocking her path. To an able-bodied person, it is school bags, a trash can and a spilled water bottle. However, these items are major obstacles for this student. School bags thrown along the corridor can create lots of problems for her to get over. It is like climbing a mountain. A trash can is like a wall blocking her path, and the spilled water is like a lava pit of danger for this student trying to exit the school. The final student we will see is this visually impaired boy with a guide dog. He is tired after a long day at school and is walking home. A woman sees the dog and decides to go and pet it. The boy does not know the woman or that she is petting the dog. When you pet an assistance dog, it interrupts their trained routine. When an assistance dog is wearing the vest, they are working. You should never pet an assistance dog without asking its owner for permission. Finally, let's explore intellectual disability. Unlike physical disability, sometimes intellectual disability may not be as easily noticed. It is always important not to make assumptions about others. People with intellectual disability can have mild, moderate or severe intellectual disability. 
It's important to remember the appropriate language we mentioned earlier. It's important not to call a person with an intellectual disability invalid or retard or handicapped. These are derogatory and offensive terms and can be very hurtful to the person with the disability and their families and friends. Be patient with a person with intellectual disability. They are not stupid. It just takes them a little longer to process information, but with time and patience they will get there. Learning disability and intellectual disability are different. Dyslexia, for example, is a specific reading disability due to the way the brain processes graphic symbols. It is a learning disability that alters the way a person recognises words or spelling and decoding. Eptapient may be what they see when the message says be patient. For an example of how it would feel, read what colours these are, not what colour they are written in. It takes our minds a few seconds to process the information. Learning disability is difficult to see as the person with this disability does not have bandages on their head the way someone may wear a bandage on their leg if they are injured. Another area that people may not be aware of is mental illness. One in four people in the world will be affected by mental or neurological disorders at some point in their lives. An example of this is anxiety. The person looks like everybody else from the outside, but in their mind they are racing, trying to balance life to appear to be fine and not dealing with mental illness. With any disability, it is important to be aware and to be patient. Understand that people are not defined by their disabilities. It's just something they have, and do not assume that everyone with disabilities are affected in the same way. For more information about disability and how you can help to make life easier for people with disabilities, please follow up this video with information tips on the PowerPoint provided.